Hey, I was, I was interested to ask you as well about the international bubbles. Every time we seem to want to open up or do open up and, and say, well, let's go to Rarotonga or let's go to Australia, within a very short period of time, we're locking down again. Do you think international bubbles are actually a realistic or are we just trying to push a bit early for something that can't happen until really the world has us under control? Well, um, yeah, look, I'm, I think you're partly correct in that it's um, not easy to do what New Zealand is doing now with Australia and the Cook Islands. And I think people in New Zealand just forget that this is unique globally. There are no other countries have formed a green zone of, of um, adjoining uh, uh, jur jurisdictions aiming for no transmission of the virus at all. People, they have had green corridors for months in the uh, Northern Hemisphere, but these are just countries that have relatively low transmission. Here we're aiming for no transmission at all. And despite what Scott Morrison says, there Australia has pursued the most intense elimination approach like New Zealand, and it's just got more intense. And um, they've halved the number of people coming into Australia for the foreseeable future. It's more like Fortress Australia now right. until they have a highly vaccinated population, which is actually, I think, makes it easier for New Zealand to sustain this green zone of Australia. Uh, they will bring their um, current outbreak in New South Wales under control. And um, I'm quite confident, confident of that uh, because they don't want circulating virus any more than we do. Mm. So I think we will return to quite a functional green zone. We will have the occasional scare. We will have outbreaks but we're actually getting quite good at managing them in, in all, of, all of these jurisdictions.